Hello everybody and welcome back to FIFA 22 and we are just about to get into the opening game of the season against Arsenal so not an easy start for uh, this new Fulham era, Marco Silva. It's going to be interesting, right, let's see how Marco Silva deals with his first press conferences of course. Improvements don't happen overnight, there's a lot of work to be done at the club. Do you think you can avoid embarrassment in the first half of the season? These players are good enough, they, they love it, team morale is up. Through the roof. You've bought Bergen to bolster the Fulham squad. Looking at your plans for the future, does the new addition mean Reed is probably on his way out? <sighs> I mean, I would normally say it's up to the players to perform. I'm not worried about upsetting people. It's my job to make difficult decisions. Reed loved that. He's actually had a bid on him as well. So we'll go and check that out. Uh, Burge might turn out to be a brilliant bit of business. Are you putting him straight in against Arsenal? Um, he'll make a difference. He has the bombs to prove his worst. Let's see how he gets on. Let's keep it a bit neutral. He loves that as well. Morale very happy. There we go. Press conference done. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Mrs. Interview Lady. Right. Um, I think we can just go into the game, can't we? Although we do have a Transfer Hub offer. And thank you for your first comments, likes, all that stuff on the first video. Uh, we're looking at Marlon. We're getting a scout report on him as a potential striker offer. Although we do now have Anthony Martial. But there is Reed, Harrison Reed, with a six million bid from Trabzon Spore out in Turkey. So let's go in. We're going to negotiate this one. And we're going to see what we can get from Trabzon Spore. So they want him for 6 million. I'm suggesting that you pay us 8 million. I'll take 8 million for him. And then we're definitely going to go and reinvest that money. Because we do need another central midfielder if we get to him. They're happy with 8 million pounds. There we go. Easily done. That probably should have gone a bit higher. But 8 million. Uh, lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. I'll take it. Right. Let's get into the game. It is... Fulham v Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. So we do have some sliders in play here, just uh, reducing first touch and uh, passing speed and things like that. It's Spoonies, uh, Spoonies ones, if you if you know his. That is the team I think we're starting with. Uh, Mbabu, Denaya, Diop, Kozawa, Leno in goal. Berge, Palinia and Perea in a midfield three with Dan James on the right, Martial on the left and Mitrovic starting up front. I just want to make sure the bench is looking good. I do sort of want to put... Harry Wilson on the bench. He did get a lot of comments in there. So we'll put him on the bench ahead of... Although Deckard over Reed's on a plus five. That really makes me want to put him on somewhere. Um, let's drop Vinicius. We'll go like that because we can put Martial up front if we need to. But yeah, that's all up. These two in midfield, minus six and minus two is a little bit uh, concerning. That's because of sharpness. But I'm hoping... Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's get into it. It's three minute games. Really quick games. I'm hoping to do two an episode. And, uh, and then... Yeah, with all the highlights and all the glories, let's uh, let's get into it. So here we are then at the Emirates Stadium for Arsenal versus Fulham. And it is raining here in North London. It's a London derby. That's only just crossed my mind. But uh, I, I mean, FIFA's presentation is just unreal, isn't it? Coming from Pez and eFootball to this is just amazing. Arsenal v Fulham in the Premier League. There's the mascots. We don't have match commentary on. But uh, I'm interested to see what the Arsenal lineup is. So... Oh, full, come on. We need Mitre to have a good game. We need Martial to have a great debut. Berge, Polina in the middle for their debuts as well. It's going to be very, very interesting. As uh, They've signed Victor Osiman up front. Lots of pace for our centre-backs to deal with. Lots of debuts, actually, for Fulham in this one, isn't there? But Victor Osiman, number 10 for Arsenal. The pierre Emrick Aubameyang replacement, maybe. And Marco Silva looking over his new team. There's Martin Odegaard. Um, yeah, this is a star-studded Arsenal team. Granite Xhaka leading the team out as captain. Aaron Ramsdale there in goal. So here is Arsenal then. Ramsdale in goal in a 4-2-3-1. Tomiyasu left back. Saliba, Gabriel and Zinchenko across the back four. Xhaka and Thomas Partey in the middle. Marquinhos, the youngster, gets a start. Pedersen and Odegaard in front of them with Victor Osiman leading the line. And there it is. That's what it looks like. Zinchenko at left back. Tomiyasu right back. Saliba and Gabriel is a very strong back four. And Fulham... Lining up with Bernd Leno in goal. A return to Arsenal for him. And Babu, Denier, Diop and Kazawa at the back four. All debuts. Berge, Pereira and Palinia. All debuts for them. Daniel James, Mitrovic and Anthony Martial. The big coup from Man United start up front. So Dan James, Pereira and Martial. Ex-Man United players in this one for Fulham. And they'll be keen to get this one underway. With a good start. Some good pace. And I will say right now. My defending on this game is pretty Dreadful. So the game's ready to get underway, and it's Mitrovic that kicks us off as uh, Perea gives the ball out to Palinia. Down to Kurzawa. Going to give Sander Berge his first touch in the centre of the park. 
and Babu on the right-hand side. Up it goes to Dan James. Knocks that one back to Sander Burge. That's a fantastically strong tackle from Thomas Party, and Denier has to react quickly to get a tackle in on uh, Victor Ossiman. It's floated it out wide to Kurzawa. Anthony Martial looks into Paulinho. Looks to fit that one through, but again, Thomas Party there showing some good defensive work as Perea can't quite pick that one up. And uh, Granite Xhaka on the ball now for Arsenal. Odegaard into Thomas Partey, but Dan James putting in a good bit of defensive work. And Babu, who we know will like to get forward from that right-back position. Kazawa up the line into Anthony Martial. Not a good pass from him, straight into the path of Granite Xhaka. And Marquinhos, the Brazilian youngster, getting a run out for the first uh, first time in his career as Andreas Pereira takes over this one. Kazawa looks to flick it towards Martial. Can't quite make it work. Marquinhos put in a good bit of defensive work. And, uh, oh, the young the young Brazilian just dances around the challenge there of Kazawa. As we're just going to try and hold him up. We don't do that. And there is an opportunity here for Arsenal. As uh, Marquinhos on the ball now. Cuts them back. Odegaard, loads of space for Osman. Cut across. Thomas Partey on the volley. It's a lovely goal from Arsenal. It's 1-0 to the home team. And it all came from Marquinhos' run. And Thomas Partey volleys that in very, very nicely. Yeah, it's a bit of a stunner, that one. Bit of a, I mean, look at that. Look, this is, oh, comparing this to eFootball is just, I mean, chalk and cheese. Um, but yeah, lovely stuff from Marquinhos. Picked out Odegaard. In it went to Osman. Unselfishly, I dived in with Denier thinking he was going to shoot. And uh, yeah, a lovely goal. Thomas Partey opens the account for Arsenal here. 1-0 at the Emirates. And uh, yeah, we really need to, to get this going. I'm imagining it is going to be a bit of a slow start for Fulham. Uh, as I, well, you know, sort of get used to the controls. As Martial, oh, just gives that one away. Terrible. Terrible uh, pass there from Martial as Kazawa's going to try and put on a bit of pressure here. We can't make that one work. Odegaard just twisting and turning. What can he do, Odegaard? He's doing a good job here. Oh, I dived in a bit there. Can Osman make it too? Good block from Diop. Osman's there with a header and the goalkeeper Leno, who's not going to keep a clean sheet on his return to Arsenal, just mops that one up. Right, Dan James. Haven't seen much of his pace yet. Mitrovic holds it up. And Babu back to, back to Mitrovic. Mitrovic infield to Sandra Berge. Paulinha out to Kurzawa trying to get a bit of width into the Fulham attack. Paulinha again. Good run from Sandra Berge, but he's just put it behind him. The right idea from the Fulham midfield there, but couldn't quite make it work. And uh, Arsenal take control of the ball again. Saliba up towards Victor Osiman, who drops deep and gives it into Granite Jack. A lovely floated ball over the top. Into Marquinhos, who's causing all sorts of troubles. Odegaard gets around the tackle of Denea. No one near him. That's a bit annoying, because the AI didn't go and pressure him. Diop ran off in a different direction. Um, if you just watch it, Odegaard here. Diop runs off in a different direction. I'm not too sure why. And then I took over him and slid in. But 2-0 to Arsenal. It's uh, a painful start for Fulham here. As, uh, that looked like a bad tackle. Referee, he did play advantage. And Babu up the line towards Dan, Dan James. That's a terrible pass. And yeah, we need to uh, need to get a bit of composure here, really. Ball in. Ossiman, who uh, hasn't had a goal yet for his new team, but he's started well. Martial runs forward with it. Really heavy touch. Easy for Saliba, sprinting too much there. And at half-time, it's 2-0 to Arsenal in this London derby. And Fulham have a hell of a lot of work to do. So Arsenal going to get the second half underway. No changes for Fulham at half-time. But uh, none for Arsenal either, I don't think. But Odegaard has picked up a yellow card for that rash tackle that we saw at the end of the uh, of the first half there. And here is the Arsenal youngster up towards Thomas Partey. Great tackle from Denier, that one. We do need a bit more bite in this. Here is Andreas Perea up towards Alexander Mitrovic. Holds it up well. Perea carries on his run. I think he was offside. But that is more what we need from Alexandra Mitrovic. More of that hold-up play. Obviously, we are. I was expecting to lose to Arsenal, to be honest. I wasn't expecting us to have a wonderful performance here. As Dan James looks for a hold-up the ball. And Babu gives him a good run forward. And Babu in towards Mitrovic, who turns. Holds it up well. Is fouled, referee. He is fouled. Thank you very much. Thomas Partey into the back room. Andreas Perea over the dead ball. What can he do here? Can, I mean, I've not really had a shot yet. So let's go inside curler there. And see if we can get this on target. Andreas Perea over the ball. It's over the wall. It's on target, but with absolute no power whatsoever. And very easy for Aaron Ramsdale to scoop that one up. 
and uh, go long with his kick. Dan James back there doing a good job defending. Denier out to Diop. Kazawa into Burge. Burge on to Andreas Perea. Fit around the corner into Mitrovic. You can't quite. Oh, he's still got it, Mitrovic. Mitrovic shoots from range. It's a dribbler. It's past the post, but it's Fulham's first or well, second attempt on target of the game. As uh, Laconga comes off to be replaced by Benjamin White and. Uh, Pedersen is off to be replaced by... Oh, no, Pedersen is off to be replaced by um, uh, Ben White, I think. And Granite Xhaka, I think, came off to be replaced by uh, Sammy Laconga. I think that was right. So Thomas Party into Ben White. Does get the ball through to Victor Ossiman, who uh, tries to dink this one out to the left hand. Here is Sammy Laconga, but he's offside. So Victor Ossiman off. Gabriel Jesus comes on for his Premier League debut for Arsenal. So one debutant for another. And Fulham look like they're preparing a substitution as well. And it is going to be Dan James coming off. Not seen too much of the speedy Welshman. He's replaced by fellow Welshman, Harry Wilson. Fulham get the game back underway then. Short free kick taken into the feet of Sander Burge. Not too many options in front of them though. Denier swings it out to the left-hand side. Lovely ball to find the feet of Kazawa. Martial. Oh, just robbed Martial. Really not having an impact on this game at all so far. Jesus knocks that one back into the midfield. Partey into Ben White, who seems to have replaced Granite Xhaka in a like-for-like -like position there, because Auer puts in a lovely challenge. Perea looks to dink it out towards Anthony Martial. Can he show some pace, Martial? Yes, he can. Anthony Martial doing a fantastic job here. Martial too much on the ball, and Saliba comes off and just steals it off him very, very easily. And uh, Arsenal look to break again. Up it goes towards Jesus. Jesus and Odegaard playing a nice little one-two. Trying to get some space on the ball. Good tackle in the midfield there. And uh, it is a Fulham throw with 10 minutes to go. We've got a lot to uh, to think about for this second half. We've not had a fantastic job. That's a lovely ball out there looking for Wilson. He did win the flick on. But couldn't quite get it to work. White in towards Jesus. Jesus round the corner. Has released Sambi Laconga. Looking to cut inside. Back to Jesus. And it's 3-0 Arsenal. Five minutes to go. That is game set match. Yeah, it was a good move from Arsenal here. Denea and Mbabu just left a little bit wanting. Cut inside. Jesus' first time finish. Lovely goal from him. And uh, the Premier League debutant in Jesus didn't start the match, but he is going to end it with a goal as uh, Harry Wilson has the ball now. Mitrovic gets it to feet. He tries to... Oh, why, how did I not see Odegaard there? Bloody hell. Uh, Odegaard looks to turn. Back to Ben White. Feeds it through into Jesus again. And once again, Mbabu sort of... Just drifting off on this right-hand side. He puts in a good tackle to win the ball back, but this attack's not over there as Odegaard has it into the box. Cuts it across. An absolutely terrible marking. And on the rebound from his own shot, Lekonga makes it four. And this is a uh, dreadful start to the life in the Premier League for Fulham. Good save that from Leno, but Lekonga just fires it in left-footed. Not going to miss from there. 4-0 to Arsenal. Uh, fantastic opening day for them. And it finishes 4-0. A very, very rude awakening for Fulham and myself in FIFA this year. So around the ground there, Newcastle beat Palace 1-0. Liverpool beat Man United 2-1. Man City started their Premier League campaign with a win as well. And um, yeah, time for some questions then in the post-match interview, which I'm not too excited about. So much expected from Martial in his first game. He didn't really live up to the billing. Are you disappointed? No, he's got to settle in. Look, uh, let's be realistic. He's got, he's got. got. We've signed a player. We know he's going to be good. He's just got to settle in. Burge didn't live up. He's got... Everyone was thrown in the deep end here. Everyone was thrown in the deep end. Tough game. Um, it's going to be hard to take. The sport is... Look, you, you can't win every week, all right? You just can't win every week. That's all it means. No worries. Mark, Marco Silva, if I could do a Portuguese accent, I would, but I'm not even going to try it. Right. That wasn't very good, was it? So next game, I think, is a little bit easier. I'm pretty sure we've got Southampton. We do. Away in the league again... But Southampton is a nicer game than Arsenal. So hopefully not a 4-0 drumming. Spurs have come in for 28.9 million for Paulina. Now, I'm going to reject it because he's a new signing at the club. So that's not very realistic at all. So we say farewell to Harrison Reed. Bye-bye, Mr. Reed. You are never going to get game time for us. But he goes to Trabzonspor for £8 million. Uh, not too sure how that's going to be ranked, that one. It's going to be... A B. Okay, so the supporters are pretty happy with that. Lovely, lovely stuff. We've got good squad depth at the moment in midfield. Definitely going to be bringing in another midfielder before the uh, the transfer window closes, though, as Reed is sold. And we've got a lot of scout reports going on 
we're going to do a probably next episode we'll dive into a bit more transfer stuff maybe one game and a transfer but uh, at the moment we need to get this back on track and go and beat Southampton really so we are on the day of the Southampton game just to uh, let you guys know so we have called up the youngster who is a good midfielder cock 64 rated uh, he's into the first team squad now doing a bit of training with us there so hopefully uh, that will ease a bit of the burden but I'm gonna go with an unchanged lineup now I know it was pretty unspectacular how we played in that game I'm tempted to start Wilson over Dan James but no we'll keep Dan James in for now I feel like he can prove himself again Venetius will come out for for Wilson there um, which really means we really don't need Deckard over Reed, do we no we really don't let's put Venetius back in uh, so that we do have an out and out striker Garnacho on the bench we'll be interesting to see when he gets his first team uh, what's our blade doing on there who the hell is this guy let's put the youngster on the bench why the hell not Okay, so we've had a slight tweak to the formation, and we've gone for a 4-2-3-1 wide, but Palinia and Berge are now both playing as holding midfielders, which I think makes more sense. Gives us a bit more depth in midfield, hopefully a bit more security. Let's see if we don't get beaten 4-0. So here we are then at St. Mary Stadium for the home game for Southampton against Fulham, who did not have the best of times out in their last game against Arsenal. James Ward-Prowse leading out Southampton. Rumours... That Fulham are interested in signing the Englishman, the English central midfielder. Apparently scouts have been watching his first Premier League game where he had a good game, but Southampton didn't. They also got beaten. Both teams come into this one on zero points. And it looks like there hasn't been too many new signings there for Southampton. Fulham go with an unchanged lineup. It'll be interesting to see how Burge and Palinia get on in this one. Palinia had a Transfer bid rejected from Spurs. They obviously saw something they liked in his first Premier League game. But uh, Willie Caballero starts in goal for Southampton in this one. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this game unfolds. Southampton lining up then in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Caballero, Livramento, Bella Kotchap, Salisu and Perrode at the back. Diallo, Ward-Prowse in midfield. In front of them is Podatas, Bumgautner and Gianepo with Adam Armstrong leading the line. There it is in a 4-2-3-1 formation for Southampton. Willie Caballero, the experienced goalkeeper, chosen ahead of Gavin Bazuno for this one. Bernd Leno keeps his place in goal. And Babu, Denier, Diop and Kazawa all have to learn a lot from that 4-0 defeat to Arsenal. Berge and Polinia in the middle. James, Perea and Martial sit behind Alexandra Mitrovic as the lone striker for Fulham. And Marco Silva will be hoping for a much improved performance with Ludwig Koch. Called up from the youth team to get a place on the bench for this game against Southampton. The teams are ready to go. The sun's shining here on the south coast. Let's crack into this one and see how the game unfolds. As it's Southampton in their white and red kit. Kicking from left to right. Fulham in the black away kit. Cooking from right to left in this one. As Diallo has the ball in the middle of midfield. Out it goes towards the speedy Gianepo up against Mbabu. And he gets in a good strong tackle early on. Andreas Perea. Finds Palinia. Oh, Martial, I thought, was making the run, but didn't. And then Livadamento can uh, bring this one down nicely. Mitrovic tries to put a little bit of pressure on. Southampton trying to move the ball through midfield. Diallo. Up it goes into midfield. Kazawa tries to put in a tackle. Diallo gets it through the gap. And there's Armstrong in so much space. Why is the marking so poor? Has it reset my sliders? I really hope it hasn't. But Adam Armstrong picks up a nice little gap there. Fires it past Bernd Leno and, well, it's 1-0 Southampton early on. This is very, very poor from Fulham. And Adam Armstrong, one goal in one match, his first start of the season. And he gets a goal as uh, Fulham are, well, under the cosh straight away again. Kazawa up towards Martial, gives it back to the flying winger. Nobody in the box for him at the moment, so he's got to go back towards Martial. He just dances around one tackle. And again, this is better for Anthony Martial. Manages to keep it in place. Gives it back to Kazawa. Kazawa gives it into Martial again. Good acceleration from the Frenchman. Martial puts it in. Looking into the box. And Bella catch-ups there. Good to get it away. Burge, lovely flick trying to find Dan James. But immediately better from uh, from Fulham there. As Palinia puts in a good tackle. Finds Burge. Burge into Martial. Lovely ball through. Alexandra Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Oh, he's hit the post. Alexandra Mitrovic right in front of goal. Hits the post. And that is a good, good chance for Fulham there going begging. And Southampton hold on to a slender lead here at home at St. Mary's as Gineppo comes forward. And Babu with a lovely tackle on him again. Burge. Up it goes to Mitrovic, who's had a Fulham's best chance of the game. Armstrong comes up, just runs through both defenders. And why is my defender not sprinting? It's 2-0 to Southampton. I don't know what happened there. 
Just, oh, it's so easy for him to get through. And Adam Armstrong makes it too. Bern Leno can't do anything about that. We're already to the score that uh, halfway through to the score that Arsenal got in the last game. And Fulham are really struggling early on here in the Premier League. That's a terrible pass from Dan James as well as uh, it goes up here. I'm sure there's going to be lots of comments telling me how I'm terrible at FIFA and uh, I should give up. But I'm not going to give up. We're going to stay with Fulham and see how this goes as those Southampton fans are happy. And that child had a massive head. An absolutely massive head. It's absolutely... Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough start to the Premier League season for Fulham, this. 2-0 down to Southampton and uh, struggling struggling to make the difference here as Paulinho puts in a good tackle. It'll be a throw into Fulham deep in their own half. 33 minutes gone and Martial just about keeps that in. Up it goes to Denier. Denier out to Kazawa. No, up to Mbabu. Burge gives it back to Mbabu. This is better from Fulham here. Dan James dinks it over looking for Mbabu. Flicks it inside towards Mitrovic. Goes back towards Andreas Pereira. Paulinho dinks it over in towards Pereira. Oh, he didn't run towards the ball. Oh, it was a lovely little flick over the top from Paulinho, but it just didn't work. And uh, Southampton come forward again, and they put this one through to Baumgartner. Baumgartner sort of running into a cul-de-sac. Surely Kazawa can do something here. It's Flick down the line. Danea showing good pace. Although he's been robbed by Armstrong. In it goes. Free shot of goal. It hits the side netting. And we're into one minute of added time. So Leno takes the goal kick short into the up. Marco Silva. Pretty pretty adamant how he wants his team to play out from the back. But at half time it's 2-0 Southampton. And uh, well they've been the better team. Mitrovic hit the post in the first half of Fulham. But yeah it's pretty, pretty poor. Slow day at the office for Mitrovic. One shot and it hit the post. Again, Marco Silva gives the chance for these players that started the first half to make amends in the second half here. Is uh, it's been a yeah very rude awakening for that's a really poor pass from Diop. Luckily, Burge is there to try and win it back, and he does come away with the ball. And Babu gives it back into Burge up the line, in towards Dan James, who is just not a good footballer. He really isn't. He's really struggling in these early stages of the Premier League for his new team on loan from Leeds United as Adam Armstrong comes forward. Burge is out here to try and put some defence in and he does really well. It is a corner but it's a good tackle from Sander Burge, the new signing. Corner to be taken by James Ward-Prowse. There is a short option that's there and he wasn't tracked very well. It's Polo and it's a good tackle from Kazawa and it'll be a throw in to Southampton and it's just... Uh, a tough, a tough, tough situation here for Fulham at the moment. And the marking, the marking in FIFA is absolute. Why is no one tracking players? Why is nobody tracking any player that makes a run into the box? Harry Wilson can definitely come on for Dan James. He's been terrible. But look how much space he has here. Just absolutely no one tracks him. What's that guy doing in midfield? Terrible stuff from the defence. It's 3-0. And Marco Silva makes his first change of the game as uh, Perea just... Oh, I don't know what that was there, but... Yeah, I mean, okay, there's maybe three at the back is the way to go. Um, I think I think changes are desperately needed for the next game as uh, we're trying to get in here. And Diop has just got past him. Danea with a good interception there. Ref! Ref! Are you joking? That's not a free kick. So Kyle Walker-Peters has come on for Southampton, replacing Liveramento. And here's an interesting substitution. Paulinia off. And Cock, the youngster, called up from the Youth Academy this week, comes on to replace him in uh, in centre midfield. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the youngster gets on here as Mbabu has uh, a lot of space in front of him. Up it goes towards Harry Wilson, fresh on the pitch. Holds it up well. But uh, Andreas Preya flicks it on to... And Babu, and Babu just took a heavy touch and gave Ketchup a chance, or Kashup, a chance to uh, get back involved. Yes, I accidentally called him Ketchup, as in tomato ketchup, as Babu puts in a good tackle there. Andreas, here is the youngster cock. Terrible first touch for the youngster. And uh, as you can imagine, he's probably a little bit nervous making his debut. That's a long ball over the top. Diop can bring it down. Back to Leno in goal. Burge. And Babu. Burge. And Fulham trying to put this lovely flowing football together. And Babu's carried on his run. He needs Mitrovic to get into the box, really. And Babu cuts back. Referee, that's a foul. Thank you very much. Right. Dangerous free kick for Fulham in the Southampton half. And uh, Perot is coming off for Southampton now. And Lozano on to replace him. And Perea, what can he do with this one? Let's get a bit of height in it. We're going to 
curl it in in field. He swings it in well. Martial's there. He can't quite get it right. It's going to fall out to Danea. Not really the man we want on it, but he does find Andreas Perea. It's corner ball. Not bad. So James Ward-Prowse being taken off, replaced by Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Southampton know this game is all wrapped up, resting their captain here. Uh, Fulham also preparing a sub on the sideline. It's going to be a debut for Alejandro Garnacho, signed from Man United for Mitrovic. So it looks like uh, Anthony Martial is going to be leading the line here for Fulham now. Is, uh, can we swing this one in? So Andreas Perea swings this one in towards the back post. It's a little bit long. Martial knocks it down and there's on the volley. Wilson can't put it in. It's a fantastic save from Caballero there, to be honest, as uh, Diop keeps it alive. Perea swings it into the box looking for Martial. Can't quite get on that one. Burge is there to try and win the header, but Diallo brings it down and can bring it away for Southampton as uh, Lozano now holds on to the ball. Boom, Goutner. Out it goes, out to this left-hand side towards Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong brings it down well, but that's easy for Burge to intercept that one. Although the ref said Mbappé was in a little bit too strong and uh, not very happy with that one. Salisu takes it short to Maitland-Niles, who gives it back to Salisu, cuts it back to the edge of the box towards Maitland-Niles. And uh, Diop's there. Messing around with it, though. Diop, a cutback. It's four. It's back-to-back 4-0 -back losses for Fulham. And um, this is pretty painful. Uh, Andreas Pereira puts it out towards Wilson. And that's not a good pass. So many of our passes going astray in this one. And uh, Danae has got to show some pace here. And he can't quite get that pace in. Lozano, it's five. It's 5-0 five for Southampton. This is, uh, this is dreadful for Fulham here. Nine goals conceded, none scored. This is painful. So a terrible start then for Marco Silva as Fulham manager in the Premier League. Uh, the young player got his debut. Um, I believe in our young players. That's why I give them debuts. Shame that he came on and we conceded three more goals. Um, he's a fighter, Sander Berge. He's going he's gonna to make things tick. He's going to make things tick. Tough to take with Fulham fans. Two defeats in a row. Um, we need our senior players to step up. That is what we need. You can't blame the youngsters. Yeah, dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. We've got Middlesbrough in the Carabao Cup. I'll probably do that one off camera. Uh, and we'll come back for what we would call the bigger games. Which at the moment is pretty much every Premier League game. We've got Wolves at home coming up. That will be the next episode. Can we get a win against Middlesbrough? I bloody hope so. Anyway, leave your hints and tips please down below. Because I need the help. Um, and lots of scout reports coming in. Which is good. We've got someone asking for a chat. Onoma. I know that eventually you're going to be looking for a new midfielder. But I think I can do a job for you in that position if you give me the chance. Well, maybe. Maybe. Um, it'll take some hard work. Yeah, you've got to work hard. There you go. you got to work hard. So, let me know down below some hints and tips for FIFA. Because I suck at defending. And uh, what can I do about the marking? Let me know about that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.